let this strike. Got too much already. Now, those lame FBI black hats at Mockingbird back in the day. I How enjoyed schooling them. Is there another road? Look, maybe I went in too I've hard on this poor uh, counselor. Just need my focus. She was cute. And just going down a checklist after all. Couldn't expect her to see how ridiculous Zero D's ambitions are. God's own budget thrown at a kid playing with a hologram sculptor? Palms up, honey. I'm just calling it like it is. Hey, look, Mom, I'm making nature. Now, if nature is so important, why not let nature take its course? Extinction? That's natural. Zero dawn? No, ma'am. That ain't. Heck, it's so unnatural it'll be called an abomination back home, and you know it. That's why you're hiding it. Meanwhile, my little honey of a counselor, she's munching the inside of her cheek. Bad habit. <laughs> she chewed one of her nails, too. Just one. Not your day, was it, little sweet pea? Saw her quota slipping away. Said, I assume you intend to decline the assignment, Mr. Tate. <laughs> you kidding me? Configuration. There's a part missing. Maybe there's a storage hey, area nearby. I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow, he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker out. Done. I should check the door nearby.
found one. Looks intact. Did it. The door should have power. Now to see what lies beyond it. Eclipse. They're here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia, it's up there. Second floor. Can you reach it? <sighs> so much for avoiding contact.
the last of them. The <laughs> or not. Anyway, then get moving. You have to find Gaia. Hello. Margot Shen, and this is Hephaestus. As the name might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. Her personal forge. Except, it's not that simple. Um, so like, you probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest, experts in machine cognition, virtual heuristics, that stuff. Well, that's because we aren't going to be the ones designing and building robots. The last thing we want is to burden Gaia with a bunch of outmoded 21st century designs. A waste of time. Our purpose is to empower Gaia to build the robots. And not just build, imagine, from scratch. Any robot she needs for any conceivable purpose, designed and fabricated at a snap of a finger. Hers. Her finger. So, Hephaestus isn't really the force. Like the knowledge of craft and ingenuity of a mastersmith to wield the hammer. Encoded in software. Virtual creativity made real. Guy's already learning. In simulation, she's doing some very creative things with If Hephaestus was part of a system designed to save life, why would it use cyan to make a culture? Why indeed? I think this is it. Elizabeth Sobek's office. But it, it's sealed off. There's got to be a way inside. More Eclipse. K-1 
careful now. Welcome to Apollo, the collective memory of the human species and the wellspring of knowledge for future generations. I am Samina Ebaji. Until recently, I was director of the International Collective Memory Institute in New Tehran. As a heritage professional, I devoted my career to the preservation of human knowledge, creative endeavor, and cultural achievement. Apollo is... Therefore, How about the, fact the ultimate embodiment of a lifelong passion, albeit under the very worst circumstances imaginable. The challenges before us are immense. Specifically, we will have to design and implement four major initiatives simultaneously. First, the construction of data repositories and cradle facilities around the world ensuring redundancy. Second, the collection and processing of a projected 180 million discrete data entries. 42 zettabytes of data in Mandarin, English, Spanish, and Arabic. Third, the transfer and...
Of them. Go on once more. In what should have been a cave of wonders. No room. Sobek, please archive this testimonial in Apollo. Cross-reference to all mentions of my name and Operation Enduring Victory. My name is General Aaron Harris. From 2060 to 2066, I served as the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the highest-ranked officer of the United States Armed Forces. The tenure of my command included strategic planning and oversight of Operation Enduring Victory a falsehood perpetrated on the civilian populations of the United States and other nations during the last 14 months of life on this planet. Before the Pharaoh Plague, I did my job and did it well. I was bold and decisive, crafty in political maneuvers. It wasn't an accident that I rose to my position and became the commander of the largest mechanized force ever assembled. But to what end? My only lasting achievement was the extinction of life on Earth. And my one redeeming act, if any, was to delay that extinction by days or weeks, by throwing more death at it. It is my hope.
Welcome to Hades. Zero Dawn's extinction failsafe protocol. The ultimate killer app. Now, I know what you're thinking. The purpose of Gaia is to resurrect life. So why give her a subordinate function, only purpose of which is to wipe out life all over again? I mean, what the... what? Just plumb crazy, ain't it? Well, no, it isn't. Reconstituting a biosphere? That's a tall order. Tech smart as Gaia may be, odds are she won't get it right the first time. Looks like the only way onwards. Welcome to Eleuthia, the crown and king of Gaia's subordinate functions. For it is by Eleuthia that the human race will continue to exist. I am Patrick Brochard Klein, the Alpha in charge of this program. Now let one thing be perfectly clear from the outset. Eleuthia is not a genetic engineering project. Our goal is to preserve the human genome. of human genetic diversity, literally frozen in time. Under my watch, our activities and initiatives will comply with the 2034 clone provisions and the 2048 rally accords. Now that may seem a quaint, even trivial concern to you in light of present circumstances, but... As one of the authors of the Accords, it is far from trivial. Cradle facilities. Elizabeth said a, a new generation of humans would be spawned inside such places. She did. Oh, Mother Mountain. It was one of them? There's only one way to be sure. The hatch wouldn't open. Something, something about a Welcome to Eleuthia, the crown I need to and king office. of Gaia's subordinate functions. For it is by Eleuthia that the human race will continue to exist. I am Patrick Brochard Klein, the Alpha in charge of this program. Now let one thing be perfectly clear from the outset. Eleuthia is not a genetic engineering project. Our goal is to preserve the human genome. Not alter it. A snapshot of human genetic diversity. Can't carry more. Pure logic won't cut it, Ted. To pull this off, Gaia's going to need to have some skin in the game. It has to care. What if it runs amok? Have we learned nothing from our mistakes? Your mistakes, I think you mean? All I'm saying is give it a kill switch. She was just born, Ted. I'm not gonna put a gun to her head while she's still in the cradle. It's not like it's a child. What if it becomes a monster? It looks like it used to hold something. 
some but would benefit from antilopony morphologies. Though caprid forms show superior load-bearing capability. You're a quick study, Gaia. Dr. Sobek, as I have conducted... You will undergo a brief period of unconsciousness during relocation to Prime and final instatement. Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? When you're back up and running at the new site, we'll bring the subordinate functions online and see where we stand. Elizabeth, I can take it. Distress. The Alpha Registry master file. Intact? Yeah. No signs of corruption. Then what are you waiting for? Copy the file. With this, I can restore the registry at the hatch inside Allmother. Open it. Go inside. And grasp the secrets within. Where I was born. Maybe. Maybe who gave birth to me. Who? Are you really so naive? There will be no who waiting for you there, Aloy. Whatever birthed you into the world was a what, not a who. You bastard. Oh no, I had a legitimate birth. It's you, Aloy, who are the creation of a machine. But what kind of machine and why? Why were you created? Eclipse. You need to get out of there. What you found is too valuable. You're too valuable. My entire life, I've always known one thing with prophetic certainty. That I was destined for glory as a great champion of the sun. Even when Joran was murdered, even when Meridian fell, I never doubted my destiny. Until you came along. When I heard that you had survived, a doubt took root in my mind. As sure as the sun rises and falls each day, those I am bade to kill die. And yet I failed. How? 
Why? With each dig site you attacked, each loyal soldier you killed, this pestering doubt grew. I kept thinking of the moment my knife pierced your throat. One twist, a simple tug of the blade, and you would have bled out. In slaughter, I am a practiced hand. So why hesitate? Why fail my destined purpose? See that scar on your cheek? You didn't get to finish. Yes, I remember. He fought well. For a savage. His name was Rost. And he was a better man than you could ever hope to be. The better man is the one who doesn't end up with his guts steaming on the ground. <laughs> no. It wasn't him. I could have finished you before he attacked. But I didn't. This failing troubled my thoughts, haunted every step. It was only when I captured you, down in that place, that I finally glimpsed the sun's design etched at length across the course of events. You were meant to survive that day on the mountain, meant to interfere at dig sites and kill my men. Conversely, I was meant to capture you. Here. So that you might die as a sacrificial offering to the sun. Everything as it was meant to be. Predestined and preordained. Destiny. You're following orders, not some grand cosmic design. You're a puppet, with Hades yanking the strings, a pawn pushed around by larger forces. It'd be laughable if there weren't so much killing involved. Hades is an ancient machine, not the buried shadow of Karja myth. It doesn't care about Meridian. It wants to kill everything and everyone. And you are its dutiful slave. I serve not the buried shadow, but the sun in shadow. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, dark to light. Do you really not hear how ridiculous that sounds? You've gone from serving an insane homicidal sun king to an insane homicidal machine. You're moving down in the world, not up. I'll remember those words as I watch your corpse burn. Whatever's left of it. You fail to grasp the point. As surely as you've been conquered, so has all doubt. And with certainty of belief comes unstoppable force. Then you just cage and put your faith to the test. See if things work out like you expect. The circle has closed. Every element is in its proper place, exactly where it belongs. The errant beast, now caged, will serve her true purpose. A sacrificial animal. Oh, speaking of sacrifice, I forgot to tell you. After you crashed the Eclipse Network, I sent messengers into the East to rally the forces there and mount an invasion of the Sacred Land. I ordered every Nora killed. I was hoping to catch you there, but alas, it all seems to have been unnecessary. The Nora cast me out at birth. You're not hurting me if you hurt them. Really? Then it makes no difference one way or another. In any case, I couldn't recall the order even if I wished to. Thanks to your destruction of the network, communication over distances is impossible. You not only doomed yourself, but an entire tribe. 
Do we not see the scorching judgment of the sun in these events? Your focus, such a powerful device, isn't it? And yet, so fragile. <sighs> so you see, this time, I did not hesitate. The knife has already been twisted. Faithful, rejoice! Our years in shadow are over. A new dawn trembles on the horizon. A new day soon to break. And when it does, the false Sun King will be dead, and Holy Meridian ours once more. In this, I have become an instrument of prophecy. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, light to dark, night to day. Behold! Hold your seats! Can you not see the proof of the sun's blessing before your eyes? Proud in broad light of day. Were they not approved by the sun and joined to our cause? Many years ago, to consecrate this great ring, the Radiant Juran ordered many faithless, crushed beneath the hooves of the behemoth. Mighty is the behemoth in the eye of the sun, but it is mightier still in the power of shadow. Let this one, who schemed and slithered, be the first to die! Let her be the first of thousands! on the platform. There's no way out of this room. Maybe I could use the strength against it. Try luring the behemoth into the pillars. Gotta get out of the way. Components on the sides of his head. They've got something to do with his 
swift attacks. So you're here. Really here. You risked your life. Of course I did. If you'd been killed, Venora's sacred mountain would never have given up its secrets. Too bad you wasted your time, then. Helis destroyed my focus. And the Alpha Registry with it. Not at all. 
The whole time I've been monitoring your focus, I've duplicated every data file you scanned. Installing that data to a new focus was trivially easy. Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. You're really good at making it impossible to like you, Silence. But I guess I need this. It's time to see where you were born. Maybe you'll even learn why. Yeah. Meet the machine that birthed me into this world. Isn't that how you put it? I'll be off. Wait. Yes? How did you track my location when I wasn't wearing a focus? Really, Aloy? It doesn't take a genius to surmise that Helis would throw you into the sun wing at high noon. I wore out two striders getting here in time, but I did. Now be on your way. Since when can you override machines? Ever since you discovered the technique. I had to destroy a corrupter to obtain the necessary parts, of course. But your example showed me how to do that as well. Yet another benefit of monitoring your activities through your focus. Truth be told, the underlying logic of the technique isn't so different from rites practiced by Banuk shamans. Though, of course, far more advanced. Great. You're welcome, I guess. Helis recognized you back in the Sunring. You told me that you'd assisted the Eclipse. Not that you knew the man who killed my... Who almost killed me. So now you know. The man is a serious threat. So let's do all we can to make sure that he and Hades don't succeed. Right. I'll be on my way. To make matters worse, Helis ordered an Eclipse detachment to attack the Nora Sacred Land. The tribe's already weak. They won't stand a chance. You should come with me. Well, absolutely not. I have preparations to make elsewhere. What kind of... Why do I bother asking? You're not gonna tell me. When the time is right, I'll be in touch. I'll contact you later. In the meantime, should you need to return to Shadow Karja territory, I brought armor to conceal your identity. You think of everything, don't you? One of us has to. Aloy, when you were recovering the Alpha Registry down in the Zero Dawn bunker, I was needlessly cruel. For your sake, I hope there is someone waiting there for you inside the mountain. Not a what, but a who. Yeah! I'm not sure whether to feel impressed or terrified. I can't believe Uthid would turn his back on us. He's always the food is from Dowager Queen Nasadi, little ones. Her Highness knows times are hard and helps when she can. Eat, but bring some home for your families, if you have one. I've heard whispers about you. Rides machines, fancy spear, delightful freckles. Some even say you have a conscience. <laughs> How extraordinary. Who are you? You're obviously not one of the Shadow Karja. My name is Vanasha. For now, all you need to know is that I'm a whisper of reason in this howling pit of insanity. <sighs> I know how that feels. I'm sure you do. And so does Uthid. He's a good man, so naturally the Shadow Karja want to murder him. I've done some digging, and I think he's headed for the Green Climb. It won't take those mercenaries long to find him. He could use some help, if you're so inclined. 
Stop being evasive and tell me who you really are. Stop being evasive? You might as well tell me to stop being charming. It's impossible, but I like you, so I'll tell you a secret. I have friends in Meridian, and I like to do favors for them when I can. Uthid might be of use to them if he survives. How do you know Uthid is innocent? I'm excellent at making inquiries. Look, he feeds orphans from his own rations and personally punishes anyone who hurts the old or infirm. The idea that he would try to kill Edaman is ridiculous. He must have found something that can embarrass the priesthood. Otherwise, Bahavas wouldn't risk marking such a well-regarded man for death. What makes you think he's on the green climb? He knows he'll be pursued, so he needs a hideout that's both familiar and defensible. He once single-handedly held off an entire bandit clan in those foothills. My guess is that he'll fall back on what worked before. I'll do what I can for Uthid. But what about you? What about me what? What will you do while I risk my life? Useful things, little huntress. Look for three dead trees south of Sunfall. They mark the start of the green climb. Good luck. Word is that the Outlanders are only here to weed out traitors. So at least I'm safe. If we don't act soon, we won't be strong enough to take back Meridian. Three dead trees, just like Vinasha said. Let's see if Uthid came through here. These tracks lead up that rise. Must be the green climb.
foot track stop here. Time to climb. Made it. Where did you go, Ethan? <sighs> Food scraps. I'll bet Ethan stopped to see if he was being followed. He must have kept going. I've got to catch up. Machine. Yes, it's been hunting. Everything useful has been stripped. Yes, it's been gathering components. Probably for ammo.
That's it. Nothing to see here. Uther took down a Ravager. Not an easy kill, but worth it for the parts. Dead Watchers. More scrap for Uther's stockpile. The next one doesn't miss. Uthid? You're young for a bounty hunter. Or am I old for a soldier? I'm not here for the price on your head, Uthid. I believe you're innocent. Innocent? <laughs> Come on, then. If this is a trick, it's a good one. You've earned your kill. No tricks. Just talk. All right. Speak. I want to know what happened at Sunfall. What really happened. All right. For weeks, each dawn in the tent city came with a new death. Always in their sleep, no struggle. The old, the infirm, sometimes the young. Those who couldn't fight for the cause. I should have realized then it was a culling. Who would do such a thing? They thought it was a curse, an evil spirit. But it was only a man. And a silent poison. It took time to catch him, but we did. We brought him before Bahavis for the sun's judgment. The High Priest Bahavis? He's the one who put the bounty on you. Yes. He thanked me for my diligence, then had his guards release the villain. You see? It was he who ordered the culling. Then they turned on us. Should have died with my men, so their loyalty meant something. Twenty years I gave to the sun. For what? Malice and murder? As for honor, sacrifice, true sacrifice, the kind priests and rulers know nothing of? It's all a fat joke. If it's honor you seek, the sun car just seem trustworthy. A little stuck up, maybe, but trustworthy. Those Karja once raided your Nora lands. Raided every land we could reach. It was the Sun's will. I did what I was told. Others did worse. But as their captain, I had- Uthid, I don't care what you did. I, I can't absolve you. But the Karja are changing their ways. You could too. Perhaps. Avad doesn't understand what the Sun demands of its soldiers. Perhaps he understands it too well. Now you sound like the blameless Murad. I can believe you're a good man. But why go with the Shadow Karja in the first place? Why serve them? Because of Itaman, of course. He was the one true Sun King. Itaman's just a child. Yes. An untainted vessel. I believed he was pure. But they used him. Used our faith. I can see that now. No shadows under a noonday sun. Bahavas didn't need to disgrace my name. I did it myself, serving a rotten throne. I met someone who wants to get you out of this. A woman named Banasha. But first, we need to get you out of here. What are you? You look like a hunter. You give orders like a soldier who's been out... <laughs> Mercenaries. Think they'll all line up to tell me I'm innocent? Should have stayed on the plains, Kaja! The mountains belong to us! Key Cook's Killers! 
When we're done with you, you won't even leave an echo. You didn't make it hard to be followed. Almost as if you wanted to go out in a showdown. Not much gets by you. Incoming! Keep up the attack! We still got another squad on the way! be the last of them. Follow me. I've stashed supplies up above. can while we still have time. A robust defense is the most satisfying to break. All right, Marvels. We brought the priest out here, so let's put on a show for him. I know that, Hood. We've unfinished business, Bahavas and I. This will be difficult. I think you rallied to a lost cause. I don't intend to die today, Uthid. I did. 
but you're starting to change my mind. Rain death. That's the last of the marvels. Bahavas thought he had enough fodder to keep him safe. Now there's hope for justice. Will you come with me? This won't be easy. Bahava still has his personal guard. Cross there and we'll have him. Come here myself to end your suffering, Uthid, and mine. The Outlanders led us here, and now that they are dead, their price is most affordable. But enough with needles. It's time for blades. Remove them from the sun's sight. Thugs will break against discipline! Sons judge! 
judgment upon you! Kill the traitor! Kill the Nora! Make it hurt, as the shadow falls upon them. The sun sets on your pathetic life, Uthid. Got this one. The sun sets on your pathetic life, Uthid. Make it hurt well, as the shadow falls upon them. Up to his perch. Should have brought a cart. Whatever deal you worked out with him, I'll double it. More than double it. No. I'm tired of this, Bahavas. The lies and the violence in your cheap scented oils. I don't suppose you'd kill yourself. I had to. I had to. Prune the weak, or all the Karja and Shadow are doomed. This solves nothing. But may the sun find some worth among your drying bones. That was quite a fireworks show. You took your time. I was busy. What do you think happened to Yan Shun, the other mercenary band? And I had to organize passage to Meridian for a wanted man. Give us a moment, Uthid. Girl talk. You've had quite a day. I never imagined Bahavas would blunder into his own trap. His death opens up wonderful possibilities. Remember Edaman and Nasadi? The Child King and his mother guarded like hostages at Sunfall? With Bahavas gone, no one will be watching them. I want to get them out. And I could use your help. Kidnapping the Sun King of the Shadow Karja is no small task. It's not kidnapping. They want to go to Meridian, to safety. How do you know that? I've been posing as Nasadi's handmaiden. She's scared. For herself, of course, but mostly for Edaman. Why do you care what happens to them? Edaman is the Shadow Karja's figurehead. If he defects, it will remove their last trace of legitimacy. Beyond that, he's just a boy who clings to his mommy. He made a little grazer for me out of matchsticks once, it wasn't very good, but still, nobody ever made anything for me before. What's going to happen to Uthid now? Don't worry. You gave him a second life, and I'll put it to good use. He'll be welcomed in Meridian as a military advisor. 
Hopefully he can help Avad finish the Shadow Karja with as little bloodshed as possible. What's going to happen at Sunfall now that Bahavas is dead? Oh, it will be glorious. The priests will panic. They'll be infighting, skullduggery, and backstabbing as they wrangle for power. Best of all, they'll be distracted. Bahavas, your life brought misery, but your death is a flower that blooms in abundance. What do you need to get Nasadi and Idaman out of Sunfall? With Bahavas dead, Sunfall is the easy part. I'll handle that. The big fuss will be crossing the border to the Sundom. Find my friend, Three Tohuadiv, near the branded shore. I hired his crew to sweep the path, so all you have to do is wait for me. If this Wadiv has already cleared the area, why do you need me? Contingencies, little huntress. Something will go wrong, and I need protection I can count on. You. I'll try not to disappoint. The Nora said you would help me. Are we bound for Meridian? Only if you want to go, my dear. What choice do I have? None at all. I was just being polite. I am in your debt, Hunter. What makes you think Avad will welcome me after I served his enemies? He's a forgiving man. Just smile a lot. You can't smile, can you? No. Never that's, know when I might need these. That's a grimace. and quiet does it. Back to your business. for later.
Someone's grumpy. Stocking up? There we go. Information to help me override more machines.
Ouch. Still looking. Leaping longhorns. Down some pick. You're three to Hwadiv, right? Vanasha sent me. What happened? I got hornswoggled, that's what. Vanasha batted her lashes, wiggled her hips, and promised us treasure. Clear a path for the royals, she said. Sneak past the garrison and skewer a few watches. Hardly a bother. Little did we know there was a damned monstrosity lurking underground. When will I learn not to gawk at skinny girls? Why do you think Vanasha swindled you? My crew came to Sunfall because we heard the bounties were fat. She offered us the fattest one of all, enough to retire on. It's my own damned fault for taking the bait. Should have known I'd end up with a rupture in my useful parts. So Vanasha needed safe passage for Nasadi and Idaman, but it didn't work out? She made it sound so sweet and easy. Find the best path to the lake, make sure it's safe. What could go wrong? Turns out, a lot. Like bloody murder in the grinding jaws of a heinous death beast. Something attacked you from underground. Oh, you picked that up, did you? I wondered why the Shadow Kaja didn't pay attention to the pass. Well, they don't need to. A rock-eating demon guards it for them. It tunnels in the dirt, breaks through the earth, and blasts rocks from its stinking face. I barely escaped. My comrades weren't so lucky. I might shed a tear if they weren't all cutthroats and cheaters. Fanasha will be here soon with Nasadi and Idaman. I've got to destroy that thing in the past before they arrive. You're not too bright, are you? <sighs> well, we didn't last long against it, but... I'll tell you what I know. It has armor everywhere, a little less at the rear. And when it goes underground, it will lose track of you if you're quiet. You might even be able to keep it from going under altogether if you hit its big crooked arms hard enough. That's all I can offer, friend. I promise to look solemn at your funeral before I hit the bar.
can't carry more.
By the radiant sun, I can't believe it. I thought that evil rock jewel would grind you up. After that miracle, all we can do is wait. Vanasha will be here soon, along with a boat that'll take the royals across the lake. Ah, little Huntress. Glad you accepted my invitation to play bodyguard. Where are your men, Huadiv? It looks like something chewed you up and spat you out. That's pretty much exactly what happened. The way is clear. Can we go? I like how you always cut to the chase. In this case, literally. It won't be long before you're followed. Don't be afraid, your radiance. We've got excellent protection. Oh dear, here come the Shadow Carter, and they're very angry with me. I'll hold them off. Very noble of you, but when I start a fuss, I like to finish it. Not that your assistant isn't welcome. Hwadiv, get Itaman and his mother to the shore, carefully. So it comes to this. I must say, after two years under the heel of these zealots, I'm ready to extract a little blood. Some traps would be nice. Shall we prepare a little surprise for them? Sure, you don't have any traps, little huntress? They cover up there, behind that rock. Hmm. Here they are. Let's make it hurt, shall we? was entertaining, but I suspect we're not done. More of the bastards, get ready! I 
I don't want to jinx it, but we might be in the clear. A bit late, aren't we, gentlemen? Sorry, ma'am. The boat's waiting. Damn, I spoke too soon. This one's mine. Get to the boat. You know, this time I think I might be out of my league. If anything happens to her, I will be very cross. We're not going anywhere.
Not exactly a royal barge, is it? Oh well, defectors can't be choosers. Let's get aboard, shall we? You've done a good thing. Maybe even ended a war. Maybe. But my war just keeps going. Welcome home. You have nothing to fear. You are now under the protection of the Sundom. My protection. As is your mother, she will not be harmed. You have my word, the law of the sun. Aloy, it seems I see your influence everywhere. You've done so much for the Sundom, and it will always be appreciated. You have my thanks. May you walk in the light. Appalling. I spent two years in the Forbidden West setting this up, and the redhead gets all the credit? I'm still getting paid, right? You'll be lucky if I let you live. I couldn't have done this without you. When we meet again, I'll give you a proper thanks, I promise. Find goods for a fair price. Regret not stopping when you're in the thick of it.
it was a machine lure. We don't know how they got it. Rosgrun concealed the parts on his person, no doubt. We searched him. How? You don't want to know how. It's always the ones you least expect that cause you trouble. Warden Geneva. This is the one who defeated the behemoths. Outlander. I'm impressed. I don't impress easily. Tell me, how do you fare with hunting living prey? Haven't had any complaints. Why? Three dangerous prisoners have escaped. I need my men here, getting the others back in line. None of this would have happened if we dealt with criminals the old way. But... I've clashed that gong before, and here I am. And here you are. What's the old way? To be buried up to the neck and left for the sun's judgment. Seems to me like the judgment's already been made. Not one of them committed another crime. Who are these dangerous prisoners? Three from the isolation cages. Don't feel sorry for them. They've lived well off the Sun King's conscience. First is Rosgrund. Osram trap maker, hates the Karja, crazy as a loon in heat. Caught in one too many blasts, or one too few. Then there's Ulia, a Tanakh warrior, if that means anything to you. Not really. Another tribe? Reavers, from the south. Bloodthirsty. Some say they're cannibals, but she slurped gruel well enough. And the last is Gavon, a traitor who smuggled weapons to the exiles. Compared to the other two, this one doesn't seem so bad. He helped drag out a civil war, all for the shards it got him. A machine has more warmth. Do you know a hunter named Nil? He told me about this place. Nil? That's what he calls himself now. Is he well? I maybe wouldn't say well. He was born under a long and dark shadow, but he wasn't a knife without a thought behind it. Like the butchers of the Sunring. He had honor. Old-fashioned. His time here... boiled it to the surface. So the Karja keep their criminals in this place? Since the Liberation. We've had them all, from thieves to the Mad King Jaron's former Kestrels. The Sun King believes in the power of change, and sure enough, some did change. Shed their skin, like lizards. I thought all criminals were the same once. That's why the Sun King gave me command of Sunstone Rock. As an education. Sounds like an honor. I mean, I haven't seen any other women in Karja armor. No. I'm not one of your sisters. No woman can wear Karja armor. When I was young, I chose to become a soldier. One good enough to join Avad's honor guard. There was talk about what I was. So I'd say, test me, and I'll break your arm. After enough arms had been broken, there was less talk. I'm curious, but I'd rather we didn't have to start fighting. Agreed. So you want these prisoners brought back? No. I want them put in the earth. I doubt they'll give you any choice. They had their chance with the Sun King's generosity. So now they face mine. A bounty on all their heads. Ulia of the Tanakh, Razgrund of the Asaram, and the traitor Gavon. If I did this for you, I'd need a lead on them. Well, when Ulia first swept through the Sundom, it was with the jungle bandits. I say she'll go back. Rosgrund we pulled out of a crack in Dusk Mesa, where he'd been tinkering with his bombs. And Gavon will be trying to pay his way across the lake. I'd burn my palm on it. Look in Bright Market. Arrested two for disorderly conduct last night. You don't want to know what they would do. Okay, I already got rid of the bandits. I don't think it'll be hard to find this warrior. Do you fear my 
teeth. This one, I put on the armor of a chieftain. This one. Defend your home against a single warrior? I told you they would come! Drive her into the dirt! My blood is yours now. No way we could have talked about this, huh? All the Kaja did was talk. Talk and bleed. Talk and shackle me. But you, you fought like a Tanakh. I'd have taken you for my child. You can't just take a child. The strong take from the we weak. And in the taking, I'm made stronger. These stories pricked into my skin. Look, <clears throat> children, riches, lives, and land. All of these have been mine. Drink of my, <clears throat> my blood, and they'll live on. <gasps> no, Ulia, I've, I've got enough stories to carry. tried to kill the sun king. If this Gavon came through here, the inn seems like a good place to start asking. As the sun is my witness, never had a Nora in my house. What about a man named Gavon? Mm, no. Can't say I've heard that name. But uh, we're a trading town. Get a lot of people through. All kinds, I'm sure. Like ones who don't want to be followed. I never heard of your Gavon. 
If he's trouble, well, can't say I'm sorry. Uh, now, I've things to be doing, Nora girl, if you don't mind. Well, he wasn't suspicious at all. <sighs> Time to take a look around. Oh, it's good to be sitting down. I'm tired. I've worked enough to last a 